September now, and it's World Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month. People around the globe are coming together to shine a light on one of the deadliest cancers. Joining us today to talk about the impacts of the cancer is a transplant surgeon and medical director of pancreas diseases at Nebraska Medicine, Dr. Luciano Vargas. Dr. Vargas, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, first question off the bat, can you tell us why pancreatic cancer is so deadly? It's so deadly because it's difficult to treat. Um, the chemotherapy regimens that we have right now aren't the greatest in the sense that we can't give the chemotherapy and expect 100% cure from the chemotherapy itself. It's only through the combination of chemotherapy and surgery that we can actually have a significant long-term outcome, long-term uh, overall survival. What are some of the most common symptoms of pancreatic cancer? Unfortunately, sometimes it's relatively asymptomatic. Yeah. Uh, but if symptoms do arise, depending on the location, um, sometimes you can develop jaundice or yellowish discoloration. Sometimes you can develop um, abdominal pain located kind of right in the center of your belly. Uh, you can get left-sided abdominal pain. You can start developing weight loss. And in some uh, circumstances, you can have new onset diabetes. Yeah, has there been any progress in treatments for this kind of cancer? Yes, there's been progress. Uh, the progress we've made has been slow and incremental improvements in the treatment. There hasn't been a really drastic uh, breakthrough that we hope we can have. Uh, but again, this is what's amazing at the Nebraska Medicine. Uh, we're in constant uh, contact with researchers and uh, clinicians trying to bring the most updated uh, clinical trials and uh, surgical approaches uh, to patients uh, with pancreatic cancer. Are there any screening protocols for pancreatic diseases or specific groups who should get screened? There isn't any pancreatic diseases in general. Uh, it's a big umbrella. For pancreatic cancer, what we usually rely on is probably a family history. If there's a family history of pancreatic cancer, depending on the age of onset, we definitely uh, funnel those individuals into kind of a screening, a screening uh, protocol and make sure we're being very diligent and uh, aggressive with regards to any symptoms. And sometimes we even put them on uh, surveillance imaging protocols. But yes, there is some available. All right, Dr. Vargas, thank you so much for joining us and talking to us about My all pleasure. this. My pleasure. Thank you very much.